Uh, welcome all, welcome back. I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to sketch the graph of this polynomial function. This is a polynomial function. It's in the factor form. Uh, and for that reason, we're going to use these three things, the end behavior, the zeros, and the multiplicity at least. Let's see, maybe we're going to need some extra points. So uh, let's start, start with this end behavior first. Uh, what do we mean by that? That means what's happening when x is getting smaller approaching negative infinity or x is getting larger. For that reason, I'm going to need to look to the degree and the leading coefficient. And that is very simple. 3x, in fact, negative 3x times x times x. So I'm going to write that here, negative 3x times x times x. If you multiply these three guys, what do you get? You get negative 3x cubed. So eventually, if you multiply this guy, you're going to get negative 3x cubed plus blah, blah, blah. We don't really need the rest of the story. And look into this one. This is a negative number, negative 3, and this one is an odd degree. So based on that thing, what will be the end behavior? The end behavior is going to be left up right down. Something like this. And why like this? Because also it's a third degree. So left, up, right down. Or simply up, down, if you want something like that. So we know now how the function is going to look like. Something like this. The, this is the end behavior. The zeros. How do we get the zero? We make the function equals to zero. Okay, so we look into the zeros now. And we have this factor form. That's great. Negative 3x times x plus 1 times x minus 2. And that equals to 0. And like I said, we have the factor form. So we're going to make the first factor equals to 0, which gives us x equals 0. That will be a first 0. Then we have this guy, x plus 1 equals 0, which gives us x equals negative 1, and x minus 2 equals 0, which gives us x equals 2. So if you ask me now, probably what I will do, I will sketch an x and y axis. Okay, and I will plot these zeros. So we have 0, x equals 0, which means the origin, x equals negative 1, which is this guy, negative 1 and 0, and x equals 2, which is this 2 and 0. These are the zeros, the intercepts. Okay, and now remember, we have this pattern, so we can really try to, but we have one more thing here, multiplicity. That is very important. Now, in this case, let's take a look to this zero. This here has an invisible one, invisible one for this zero, and an invisible one for the last zero. So add multiplicity, because one is an odd number, which simply means what? The graph is going to cross is there. Let's see what we mean by that. So we're going to come from up here. We're going to have to cross here, turn somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Cross again here, turn somewhere, doesn't matter where, and cross again. This is the graph of this uh, polynomial function. It's a sketch. Okay. Eventually, you may want to use the, oh, in this case, the y-intercept is 0 and 0. It's a special case. Uh, but if you want more points, you can do that. But I don't think we need anything here. Here on the right side, I have the graph, the exact graph. Uh, you see, it's, uh, my graph is very similar with the real graph. Uh, of course, you are not going to get the actual graph. You get a sketch, but it's good enough. Uh, you notice what I mentioned. These zeros, the fact that the graph crosses there, and the end behavior, and we have a decent graph done by hand. If you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.